My name is Chelsea. I um, am, a, am a rising sophomore at Johns Hopkins, but I went to Pali. Um, so I think the first thing I really want to emphasize is it's a gradual process from the time you're in ninth grade to the time you're in twelfth grade to get ready for um, for college because it really is like every year for in regards to time management is every year gaining a little bit more of a workload and taking on more of a leadership role in your extracurriculars that really helps you gradually build up in, so that you're prepared for college because college is harder than high school I think that's something that like I didn't realize in high school I thought oh once I get into college like it'll be fine like everything will be easy no it got harder um, and I think it's really necessary to gradually build yourself up and in high school to get ready for college. And it's also necessary, um, like everyone has said before, to have a goal. In ninth grade, I was a little bit of a brat, and um, I really was. <laughs> and I really didn't listen to my parents at all. And um, I kind of, I was unmotivated, didn't listen to my parents. And then, end of freshman year hit me, and then I realized college is in three years, and I have to start doing something. So for, I guess, kids out there in middle school and high school, listen to your parents. They got through everything you have. They know exactly what, where you are. They know what's best for you. But also for parents, um, it's important also for you to slowly let your children be independent. Because I know um, you can't go to college with them. And it's another gradual process where you need to slowly learn to let go and let them be self-motivated on their own. And children, children know what they have to do, and you have to let them like make their mistakes and learn from them. And um, what I so in high school, um, I think what was really important, especially for college and beyond, is to learn how to make a resume, a cover letter, and learn interview skills. Because I know as a junior when I was trying to get research positions, I had to learn all how to do all those things. And I took a class on it at Pali, but the teacher is kind of psycho, so I would recommend taking that class. Um, it's called work experience, but basically, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> okay. Um, and basically, I think the best way to learn how to do all those things because you will need it, even like junior, senior year of high school when you want to apply for internship, um, in college when you want to apply for a research position, in like college when you want to apply for an internship, and then out of college. And I think the um, best way to learn how to do so is to ask like an older relative or um, like someone, an older relative in college or an older sibling who will just like walk you through the steps of how to do it. And that'll, I think that'll be a great benefit to start learning how to do in high school. Um, um, so in regards to time management, I touched a little bit on it before. Basically, the best thing, the best thing you can do to for time management is, it's, it comes with the workload, mostly. So in ninth grade, being a brat, being the brat I was, I like went to swim practice, I watched TV for four hours, and then at 11 I was like, hey, I think I should start homework. Um, and I like did homework till like 1 a.m. But obviously like this wasn't a sustainable lifestyle. I learned that I had to um, start homework earlier, and that came with the workload. So like sophomore year, I realized that I have like two more hours of homework, I gotta start earlier. And that you just learn time manage, and um, if you want to, I guess if ninth grade you want to time manage on your own, follow Jessica's advice, uh, make a schedule, stick to it. Like this girl's a superstar; she does everything. So yeah, follow her advice. Definitely make a schedule, stick to it. Also, um, advice I wish I had in ninth grade was to um, really have a goal and try things out. I know when I was in ninth grade, the only extracurricular I was involved in was with in with swimming because all my friends were in swimming and that's all I did but you really again don't think you care what other people think about you try to try different things out and really figure out your interests because you want to have as much time as you can to figure that out and definitely have goals for that um, that's all I have <laughs>